Hello guys, I'm here back again with another new video and today I'm gonna be showing you how to generate noise in Figma and most importantly how to use noise in your design like why do you want to use noise like like if, uh, whenever people are seeing these videos they may ask why noise like we are uh, creating designs to reduce noise. like creating designs in figma not rasterizing it creating everything in vector just to reduce noise, just to reduce the uh like reduce not reduce just to increase the quality and uh, reduce the rasterization problem that they that always we have the poor quality of image and all but why noise and how to use noise like why you should obviously consider noise also not always but yeah sometimes consider noise as well in your design elements why so let me show you so here i am in figma and again the same tutorial window i am using uh that is obviously a video tutorial so let's continue so uh first of all how to generate noise so there is another yet another plugin you guessed it right yet another plugin that is for noise generator and oh why i'm searching just search it here here it is noise generator so i will just basically create a simple noise as of now not more like not any tingling around and all just just to show you i will just click on the basic noise they have so here is the noise is created and it's basically a png image okay and the most the most most beautiful thing is you can expand it like hugely and it will not reduce quality but like it don't usually work as normal png so that's something great about it okay so that's thing that's one thing now I can obviously uh, close the noise plugin and here is our noise element okay so why noise why we what we can do with noise so this is not something like uh i if i just put it uh, just under it it is it can be it can be application as well but how we usually use noise not we i usually use noise that is mm, i cover the whole frame if 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 we not whole frame just i use noise uh, like that so i cover the whole frame and then click the noise layer and change my blending mode to maybe overlay and now if i zoom in can you see this distortion here like it is giving this digital sharp design a texture a great looking texture and it's giving it another kind of life and now one thing you have to keep in mind obviously the overlay mode of uh, blending mode will obviously change your primary colors that you are that you have started working with so obviously something to keep in mind uh, when you are working with it but to be honest the look it gives is phenomenal and i like it too much and whenever i am working with noise layer i just uh, lock the noise layer just because i have to access all of the things behind it not uh, uh like on it up front in the up front so obviously i always use that and let's change the color a bit for now okay oh wait 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 let's not change this color either we can change the primary dark to a little less darker so we can see it a bit okay now you are getting it right so oh yes we can change the background layer as well so it will look great i like uh, noise layer looks great on any of the brightest color it gives is gives it a little not punch but little bit uh like toned a uh, toned down uh milder tone not mild but uh what a deeper tone and a soothing tone into it so you can see how how bright this color is i will just click on this and now look how great like right really great background isn't it 
and any of the colors uh, if i choose uh, choose it from brighter genre so you can see the now the shadow is really like craving out of it how cool is that and it gives the total thing like total design a paper like feel like you have printed something in paper so that's the thing i usually grow for in most of the cases like or oh, right now we are changing some of the elements of bohon and we are applying this design and it's really great it's really great so obviously try out this trick let me know if you like it or not and if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to my channel and if you know about some of the great resources cool apps apis plugins anything not 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 supposedly anything but yeah uh, anything in this genre please let me know about all of them in the comments so i can feature them in my future videos so bye for now